Hey guys, this is Josh's 25 Reviews here today. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my customs. Now, I have two vehicles, one stand, and three figures. So, uh, let's get started. Alright, so here's my first custom fig. Uh, it is an old grunt, uh, the 2009 through 2011 version. Uh, it's not very good, this is by far my worst. Um, it's just a copper grunt, and I just put it, uh, painted him. Or not painted him. Uh, colored him with Sharpie in a dark green color, just because I really wanted a green grunt, and they have made him now, uh, which is very good. Um, but this is the old version grunt, and it's very bad, and I don't like the way it turned out at all. So, uh, that is my first. Uh, next is my Brute War Chieftain. Um, it's just the Copper Brute from Series 4, uh, with two... I don't know what this is, it's just gold material I found, and I super glued it to his head. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with this guy, uh, he is in Halo 3. Uh, he's the highest rank of a brute that you can be. Uh, it's not very accurate. Uh, he should be in a gold yellow color, more like this. Some guy named Liam's Custom Figs has made one that's a lot better than this. Uh, he has a video on it. And yeah, this is him. Uh, he either carries a fuel rod cannon or a plasma cannon in the game. And I really hope Mega Bucks uh, comes to one day they actually come to make this guy, which would be awesome. So, yeah. Alright, so next is the Brute Chieftain. Um, this is an actual Halo Mega Bloks figure. Um, but I just painted him in black so that he's game accurate. As you can see, uh, here's the most recent one released, the gray and blue one. And as you can see, here is the paint difference on it. Uh, it's actual paint, and I really like the way it turned out. Uh, it is game accurate, like I said. And, uh, if they keep on making Brute Chieftains, I really think they should make one in black. I think it'd look very cool. Um, so if you guys want to make one like this, uh, just go to, uh, Michael's, the arts and craft store. Look for black paint, uh, pick it up, and go ahead and paint over the gray on this guy. And I also gave him a, what, uh, handle there so that you can fit the gravity hammer in his back. Like that. So, uh, this is the Brute Chieftain. Alright, so next you can see a weapon stand, and before I get started on this, credit goes to Philippe98. He actually did a video on this, uh, Custom Gun Rack. Now, uh, a reason why I'm calling this my custom is, well, uh, he made a video on it, and I used some of the techniques he did, um, but I kind of made it my own as well. So, as you can see, there's some spaces left because I didn't have the exact pieces. Um, I think the sandbags were supposed to be there. Uh, and the turret was not supposed to be there? I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. Anyways, uh, credit goes to Philip V98, uh, for this design. Anyways, so, I like this custom a lot. It's very, very good for bases. So, uh, here's two of the old shotguns and two of the old assault rifles that just clip in the pegs there. A health pack right there, so that Spartans can refuel. Uh, two trip mines. Uh, this is actually made from the red... red <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, red weapons pack back in 2010, the first weapons pack uh, with the red Spartan. Uh, as you can see, this is where I got the turret from. And it's from the silver CQB weapons packs. Uh, you need two of those to do this. As you can see from the sandbags and the base plates. Anyways, uh, so two magnums right there. A fusion coil under there. And as you can see, it's not very well done because, uh, like I said, I didn't have all the pieces that I needed. But, you know, it looks good. And that's all that matters in customs. Um, and there's a sticker here, uh, I think that was 12v98's idea in his video, and, uh, like I said, fusion coil there, and that's basically it for this weapons pack. I honestly think it's very, very cool. Alright, so on to the vehicles, uh, this is the Night Ops Warthog, representing, representing, uh, the Halo 4 Goshog design. Um, I call it the Night Ops Warthog because they call the Goshog the Night Ops Goshog, and, uh, I used the turret from the Warthog Resistance. Uh, colored it in black, and uh, used the Warthog Resistance design to make this an actual Warthog. And it does have lights and sounds, but kind of hard to get on. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess you can just call it a Desert Warthog or whatever you want. Um, so, yeah. And now, my favorite custom of all. The green Halo 4 Goshog. Now, this is not a Night Ops Goshog. This is using the Night Ops Goshog design and the Warthog Resistance design. Now, I have done a separate video on this, so I'm not going to go fully over it. <clears throat> um, but this is my favorite, uh, just because it looks so accurate to the game. Uh, I just really like the way it turned out. As you can see, the turret is fully painted in army green. I actually used a black and a green tone 
uh, and it's almost identical to the actual actual color, uh, which is very cool. And as you can see, I just didn't just use the Warthog Resistance and put this turret on. As you can see, this thing right here is for the Pelican to pick it up, which wasn't in the Warthog Resistance. So this is 100% custom. Alright, so there is a full video of all my customs. Um, I don't have a whole bunch, but you know, uh, three actual structures and three figures. So, uh, there you go. Uh, please leave a comment on which custom is your favorite and uh, which custom you don't really like. And um, that's perfectly fine if you don't like any of my customs. I mean, that's your opinion. Um, but I am going to do more in the future. Uh, I'll, ma I'll make it a part two video, but won't be for a while, probably another year until I do another customs video, uh, depending on how many people want to see another customs video. But uh, that's it. Um, personally, like I said, my Gosshog is my favorite. And before we go, uh, for those of you that normally watch my videos, I have gotten a white background, and uh, that's good uh, for those of you that want reviews with no background, and that's mainly why I did it, uh, because normally in my reviews there's a lot of stuff in the background, and I don't think I, I don't like the way that turns out. I'm having to use boxes uh, to actually corner in the set, and that looks kind of funny. So now I have a white background. I will primarily be using this for my Mega Bucks and uh, action figure reviews if I keep those up. Uh, my Lego reviews, I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably still going to be using base plates for those. So, um, that sums up this video. Uh, like I said, leave a comment on which one of my customs is your favorite and least favorite. So, thanks for watching.